Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to count items in iWork Numbers. So in this simple example, I've got a bunch of different items over here and I want to count how many are of a certain type. So how many apples are listed over here on the left. So I've created another table over here. I've got a place to put my formula and I'm going to start by typing the equal sign. Now anytime you want to do something in numbers of course you need a formula. And anytime you want to do something specific like counting you need to get to the right function. So click the function button here and it comes up with a list of all the different functions. So what you want to do is browse through it and see what fits your need. So for instance for counting you can see I've got a bunch of different things here. If I select one it will show me the definition here. And I can see for instance this will return the number of things that contain numbers or numeric expressions or dates. That's not what I want. Um, count A will actually uh, return things that are not empty. So if I did that it would just count everything in here. Uh, count blank is kind of the opposite. Um, count if uh, returns the number of cells that satisfy a condition. So that's the one that I want. So let me use count if. And then the first thing I want to do is give it an area. So I'm going to give it this column here in this table. And the second thing I want to do is give it a condition. And the way you do that is you use quotes. So quote equals apple. End quote. And then close parenthesis and then return. And I can see it counts the number of apples there. So now I want to do the same thing, say, for the other ones. So for oranges, I would then enter in formula count if, click on the column heading there, and equals orange. And then I can continue for bananas and peaches. Now let's make things a little more complex. Say I just don't want to look at one column but I don't want to look at several. Like here I've got a store column, store A and B, and I also have a checkbox for whether something is on sale or not. I can do that with the count if s. So now I can continue to add pieces to the formula. So for instance I could say this first column here and it's got to be apples. Then continue and say okay in the second column it's got to be store A. And then I can continue with the third one and say okay in this one it's got to be true. And the result is I now have see that there are three apples that are from being sold in store A and are on sale. So let's make things a little bit more complex. Say I want to not only get the count but I want to get the total of the price of those items. I have this price column now. Well for that instead of using count if I could use sum if. So for instance sum if and then I would say column A and the condition is it's got to be an apple and then I would use D as the column I want to get the amounts for the sum. And you can see it's three dollars and eighty cents worth of apples. Now let's say I want it to represent this number here. This number here, remember, is the number of apples in store A that are on sale. So I actually want this to match that. I'm going to copy this formula from here. And then I'm going to paste it into here and change this count if s to sum if s. So I can use the same conditions. But then I'm going to insert at the beginning of this the price column. So notice that the sum if is a column condition and then the sum column. This, uh, the column if s, flips it around and puts the sum column first and then a list of conditions. And then when I do return, I see I get $1.80 worth of apples that are in store A and on sale, and the count is three. So there you go. There's how to use the count if, the count if s, the sum if, and the sum if s formulas in numbers. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.